International Monetary Fund head Christine Lagarde is due to hold talks with the board over a fraud inquiry she's embroiled in. A French magistrate has stepped up his investigation into allegations that date back to her time as French finance minister. Owen Fairclough has the details. She steered some of the world's most troubled economies out of danger. International Monetary Fund head Christine Lagarde is now embroiled in some personal trouble of her own. French authorities have stepped up a three-year fraud inquiry over a business dispute involving tycoon Bernard Tapie, a prominent ally of former president Nicolas Sarkozy. Lagarde was Sarkozy's finance minister at the time. The investigating commission of the Court of Justice of the French Republic has decided to place me under formal investigation. After three years of procedure, the only surviving allegation is that through inattention, I may have failed to block the arbitration that put an end to the long-standing TAPI litigation. Lagarde denies allegations she was negligent over a $531 million arbitration payout to TAPI. The allegations surfaced shortly after she took over the IMF in 2011, where her tenure has been smooth so far. Her predecessor and compatriot Dominique Strauss-Kahn was forced to quit over sexual assault charges that were later dropped. Overseeing two multi-billion dollar bailouts of Greece and most recently Ukraine have boosted her international standing. So much so, she had to kill rumours back in June that she'd run for European Commission president. I'm not a candidate. And the reason I'm not a candidate is that I have a job. And, you know, it's, it's a job that I happen to think is rather important at the moment. Christine Lagarde has repeatedly said she'll see out her full term leading the IMF. That's due to end in 2016. She's instructed lawyers in Paris to manage this case on her behalf so that for now at least, she can continue her work uninterrupted. Owen Fairclough, CCTV, Washington, D.C.